you want to know how it will be. There's one for you, nineteen for me. So we can all be quiet and peaceable and have a few beers together and listen to the music and not make any wrong moves. Watching my teeth I thought about it just the other day Last week's show was kind of serious so I thought we'd try for something a little lighter this week or weirder or something. Big dead cadavers were tissing in the window. A ten point buck tied onto the fender. Got drunk and shot off my toe on a bender. But don't take my bullets and beef. Bullets and beef. And beef. I suppose they might have caused a little bit of grief, but it's still a free country, you better believe. I'll be guarding my fears with my shotgun. Bullets and beef. Bullets and beef. Oh, I got a warning for the potential thief. Gotta hit your trigger finger. It'd be a relief to me to finally say that I shot one. You'd be one more cadaver for dissing in my window. teaching you when you think you got her figured out she turns around and the woman you thought you knew so well is nowhere to be found she's a mystery an actress of the first degree well she's two steps ahead of you whenever you're on the go you wonder where you're hidden then she lets you know you think she's drifting off she gives you that smile and you knew that she was and you all the while she's nobility an actress of the first degree you think you've got problems such awful shape. The reason is because my life is run by Murphy's Law. Whatever can go wrong does. Not only does it all go wrong, it goes wronger every day. And it doesn't all just go wrong, it goes wrong in the very worst possible way. Each choice invokes catastrophe, doesn't matter what I do. On the left path lies disaster, disaster lies on the right path too. 
Some people just have a talent, a gift that sets them above the throng. My God-given gift is ability to be perpetually totally wrong. That came bubbling out sometime in March of 2000. Here, you. Tell Marie to get on the extension. You can't. But it's on the extension. We. I am not. Some explanation here for the younger set. Long, long ago, in the dark ages of the world, before the invention of the cell phone, people had telephones in their houses that were wired to the wall. Most people had only one line in their house. They might have an extension phone somewhere else in the house, but they'd only have the one line. And if someone was using the phone on one, cell, one phone, then someone else somewhere else in the house couldn't make a call out, and no one could call in, they'd get a busy signal. And while you were talking on the phone, somebody elsewhere in the house could pick up another phone and listen in. And Sometimes when they picked up that other phone, you wouldn't know it. But sometimes you could tell because there'd be a pop on the line. He says it's a chance for a lifetime. 